All right, so it's come to my attention that these black Hebrew Israelites went to Rosebud, my reservation, during a children's Easter egg hunt, handing out these ridiculous flyers promoting the genocide of indigenous peoples right on our own reservations. Not only that, they showed up armed and were flashing their pieces around just so nobody, you know, would approach them and try to kick them off. Where are our men? From what I hear, there were only two men there. The police responded slowly. This can't happen. We need to stand together. We are Lakota. We are strong. We are warriors. Our ancestors would never allow this. Get them the hell off of our reservations. Warn the other reservations that this shit is going on. Ban them permanently. Who are they to go to a children's Easter egg hunt promoting indigenous genocide, false narrative, and toting weapons where there are children? And they were obviously prepared to use them. Here's a clip. Shalom, Mr. Brother Azana Moth, back at you with another lesson. I pray this lesson is edifying to the body and elect of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rahab Kadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who do it well. Now, I'm just going to get straight to the point. I'm not going to make this long at all. All right, it appears that this woman, all right, she's presenting the false narrative. All right, she provided that footage and it looked pretty peaceful to me. All right, you saw a woman holding her child, listening to the word. In the bottom of this clip, it says an act of war and genocide. You see that? This part of that blame. Now, they out there for the 12 tribes of Israel, which is part of Gad. All right, the American Indian. You see? So the typical American isn't going to look into what they're out there doing. They're automatically going to connect what she allegedly said to the Black Panthers, you know, Black militia groups. See, this is all good information, but no one's going to read it. They just see so-called Black men out there on their property, all right, disrupting their traditions. And the Black militia group, NFAC, is a group set up by a sellout who was a presidential candidate all right, he advocates for the black liberation and, and a, a separism. We're not black Hebrew Israelites. We are Hebrew Israelites. So in her ignorance, they brought a positive message. You know, even though I don't agree with these brothers going up to a reservation, all right, rather than the chief place of concourse, and that's where the sheep hear the voice of the Lord, right? But every camp doesn't operate, you know, with that same logic. And people don't subscribe to you showing up on their protected grounds. See, this looks peaceful. Nothing like she described, you know. But no one's going to uh, pay attention to that. And it seems like every time there's some type of drama, you know, there's these purple shirts that are around. So we about to see the blame game. It's about to begin. And it's going to come from everybody, not just E. She's upset about her Easter being disturbed, which the scriptures say that his wine has the whole world drunk and that he cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, heapeth to all people. So she's drunk too. Even though she's unlearned and irresponsible with that post that she's posted, you know, people are going to listen to it. Right? This is a microwave society.
They're not going to look into what we teach, who Yahweh Shai is. They're just going to demonize everybody. So prepare yourselves, brothers, for false blame of insurrection coming from the Israelites. She said they had guns. I didn't see any. But if they did, you know, I, I don't understand why it's so enticing for brothers to bring guns to camp. It sends the wrong message, right? And it allows women like this, this demon, okay, to place blame when we should be blameless, right? Let's get the book of 1 Timothy 5 and 7. That's what it says. It says, and these things give charge that they may be blameless, right? And the minister of our heavenly father, you have to be blameless. So they can't put a charge on you. They did the same thing to Paul. They did the same thing to Daniel, put a false charge on him. Right. And these, so these things are going to come down, man. You can't give these people any ammunition, any power. That's why you have to watch and be circumspect. So somebody in a power position, okay, can use and target us, okay, and come down on all of us. But that's a part of prophecy, all right? The book of uh, John 16 tells us that. It's a warning. Matter of fact, let's get it, then I'll close out. This is John 16 and 1. It says, and this is in the NLT. These things have I spoken unto you that you shall not be offended. And they're going to do these evil things unto the Israelites, thinking that they're doing the work of the Heavenly Father. Right? It says, uh, John 16 and 2, They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yeah, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. Okay? And these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father nor me. All right? They don't know the Lord. So they're going to do anything to stop his voice. All right, that's why you have to be mindful of your actions and do not blame the ministry. Because you got a lot of agent activity in the background. You got to be circumspect. All right, I'll leave it there. This is the brother Azana Moth. I get all honor and glory to my heavenly father, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rahab Kadash. On to the next, Shalom.